Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with the lecturer's notes from this particular set of the Sudoku U series. This is Gappy Logic by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. I haven't checked to see if this puzzle is actually in Signet Sudoku Volume 1, which will appear over there. Yes, there. I had to look at my screen to confirm where. Um, and Signet Sudoku Volume 1 is a book of puzzles that has been created by and for the class um, to commemorate, I suppose, the fact that these puzzles were made by and for the class. Um, and you can get a copy of Signet Sudoku for free in PDF format. I'll provide links below and links above. Um, I will also keep a copy of it in my collections page, which is available for free on my Patreon page. Um, you can join my Patreon for free. And one of the things I do is I keep collections. And the main collection is to puzzle packs. And I've got a whole bunch of puzzle packs that you can download for free. And you can discuss those puzzle packs there as well. So, um, and they won't get lost in like a Discord history. But um, Signet Sudoku is available. If you want a physical copy of the book, you can go to the um, link below and you can uh, get a copy of that. Um, but uh, the PDF is completely free, so it is definitely worth taking a look at. I don't know if Gappy Logic is part of it because, you know, this was created by the teachers, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. So, um, yeah, with this, I'm going to round off this particular set of puzzles. So let's have a look at this one. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Orthogonally adjacent cells cannot be consecutive. And what that means is um, any two cells we join may not contain consecutive digits. So, for example, if this being a 5, I could not put 4 or 6 into any of those cells because these cells are orthogonally connected. Basically, orthogonally connected means if I can make a domino out of them. So if I was to draw those two cells, those two cells, those are not orthogonally connected. They are diagonally connected. If those were two bits of paper, <laughs> I could pick them up and they are separate, whereas this would be a single rectangle piece of paper. Um, and if I can connect two cells into a single rectangle, they are orthogonally connected. And digits on the shaft of an arrow, bang, sum to the digit in the attached circle. So these digits sum to that. These digits sum to the same thing. These digits sum to that. These digits sum to that. Um, so that's the way arrows work. Um, they're the only rules. So I, I know there are some tricks around non-consecutive arrows, but I don't remember them. So this will be interesting. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, starting with just basic arrows, the minimum you can put onto an arrow normally would be one, two, and three, which sums to six. And the maximum you can put into a circle is nine. So anything where you've got three cells that see each other has to be six, seven, eight, or nine. Now these can't be six because they see a six. So these are seven, eight, nine. Now this is also a three cell arrow, which um, where there's, um, so this is six, seven, eight, nine. Now the question is, can I put six into this arrow? Because if I did, where would I put the two? Now the two would be up here by Sudoku, but what would I put next to it? Because if it's a six, it's one, two, three. And wherever I put the two, I'd have a one or a three next to it. And that doesn't work. So this also can't be six. Now, I think there has to be a one on this arrow. Because if there wasn't, the minimum digits I could put on it would be two, three, and four, and two, three, and four would sum to nine. Now, that would be fine, except for the fact that where would I put the three? Because wherever I put the three, the other two digits on the arrow would be two and four, and the three would be next to a two and a four. So there must be a one on this arrow. Now, one, two, four, you'd have four in the middle and the one, two would separate. If it's eight, one and two, I could do one, two with five or one, three. Yeah, I could put one in the middle with three, four separated. And yeah, I've got lots of options here. But I think... Yeah, I'm not sure. And it's similar here. I need to put one on this arrow because otherwise if it's two, three, four, I've got nowhere to put the three. So there is a one on this arrow. But I could put one here and here. So this, these are bad pencil marks. I just need to note, okay, there is a one on this arrow and there is a one on this arrow. 
So there's, now I could put a one on this because I put one here, one here, and then put one on this. I don't know how to crack this open. This has to have a one on it, surely, for the same reason, because this one I think is going to be more powerful because of this two. Because if I don't put two, if I don't put one on this arrow, it's two, three, four, and where do I put the three? I couldn't put the three here because the other two digits... Yeah, I, I couldn't put a three on the arrow because the other two digits would be two and four. And yeah, there's nowhere I could put the three. So there is a one on this arrow, this arrow. Now, if this is seven, this would be one, two, four. I could go one, two, four. So if this is seven... I'm probably doing this badly. I don't know the trick for this puzzle. If this is seven, this would be one, and this would... Actually, would it be this be one? Well, the two would be up here, because these would be one, two, four. I couldn't put the two there. So the two was up here, but I couldn't put one and two both up here. So yes... Because I couldn't put one and two up here, this would be the one, this would be the two, four, but the two would have to be here. So this would actually be one, two, and four. And that would work. Now, if it's eight, I've got options. I could do one, two, five, and again, this would have to be the five, or I could do one, three, four, and then... The one, the three and the four would be apart, and this would be the one. Now, it's, there's too many options, but there is a one on this. So there's no one on this. So the minimum this could be is two. I couldn't put a three on it, so two and four. So this is six, seven, eight, or nine. And the minimum this could be is two, four. Actually, these two sell arrows. They've got to have a low digit on them, don't they? Because if I don't have a low digit on them, like if there's no one, two, three on them, then the minimum I could put on them would be four or four, and then I couldn't put a five on it. So it'd be four, six, which doesn't work. So there must be a one, a two, or a three on this. So there's a two or a three on this. There's a two or a three on this. So it could be two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven. Or three, four. No, it couldn't be three, four. Or three. Well, it couldn't be three, three. It couldn't be three, four. So three, five, three, six. So this one might be limited because I, I need to put... Right. Well, hang on. I, what, what, column one. Oh, no, I could put one. Si uh, no, I no, there's a one on this. So this could be two seven with this being a nine, though. So there's two low digits on this. Hang on. No, if this is two seven, this is nine and both of those are eight. This has to be the 789. Right, right. Where do I put the other of 789 in this column? I can't put it on here because then this would have to be higher than 789. I can't put a digit as high as 7 on this. These are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's completely ignoring the non-consecutive rule. These are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the reason for that is if I put a 6 on this arrow, or if I put a 7 on this arrow, 7, 1, 1 for 9, and I've got two ones, I'm repeating. I can't use a 6. Now, down here... If I put a 7 on this, 7, 1, 7, 2, this would have to be higher than 7. And if this had an 8 on it, this would be higher than 8, and I'd have more digits. This is a 7, an 8, or a 9. So these are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can't use 4, 5. This can't be the 9. Because the only way this could be 9 is if this is 4, 5 and they're consecutive. That's not a 9. 
if I put a one on this, I don't get to seven. If I do two five works, how do I get to eight? Three five. How do I get to seven? Two five. Right. If I've got a four on this, if I if there's a four on this though, how do I get to three four? The only way I could get to any there's no there must be a five on this. If I use a four on this. This is nuts. If I use a four on this, then this becomes. Yeah, if I use a four on this. Then I couldn't use a five or a three. This would be four, three, and this would be six, and it can't be. There's no four here. This is either five, two, or five, three. And this isn't the five, because five would be consecutive with six. This is the five. Now, there's no five up here. There must be a four up here. So it's one, two, four, or one, three, four? Because there must be a one up here. If it's one, two, four, this is seven. If it's one, three, four, this is eight. There's no nine here. This is a seven, eight pair. This is a nine. Wow. Now, if it's one, two, four, we know, well, let's start doing some center marks. We know that these would be one, two, and this would be four. And if it's one, three, four, oh, these are three, four, and this is the one, because the three, four would have to be kept apart. But that's all that's possible. Now, if this is seven, This could be one six, couldn't be two five, it couldn't be three four. So this would be one and six. If it's eight, because I couldn't use two five and I can't use three four, they're consecutive. This is eight. I could use one seven. I could use two six. I couldn't use three five. So it'd be one seven or two six, but they could be used in either or, well, they couldn't be, yeah, they could be, hang on, this can't be seven, one, six, this is eight, oh my lord, if this is seven, I can't use three, four, they'd be consecutive, I couldn't use two, five, there's a five here, and I couldn't use one, six, because I couldn't put six next to the five, and I can't put six next to the seven, this is not a seven, this is an eight, there is a one and a four on here with a three, so this is one, three, four. The three and the four have to be kept separate. And this now sums to eight. Now it's not one, seven. It's not, it could be two, six. It can't be three, five. This is two, six. And I can't put the six next to the five. That's the two, that's the six. This is crazy. The three, four looks down making that the two, which makes that the seven, which is good. Now, if this is one six, this is the one and this is the six. There's no seven here, by the way. If this is, it can't be two five, it could be three four, but this would be the three and this would be the four because these aren't orthogonally adjacent to each other. So they're all what's possible. This is crazy fun. Now, can I do more with this? Like three, five isn't there. No, five is in one of those. So what could this be? Can't be one, two, can't be three or four. Actually, this is quite restricted because if this is three, this, right, this can't be one or two. It can't be three because this would be four and they'd be consecutive. If it was four, this is three, they'd be consecutive. It can't be five, it can't be six. It could be seven, it can't be... So this is... Oh, and it can't be seven. This is just nine. So these are three, four, five, and seven. And three and four have to be kept apart, which they're going to be, because whichever one of these is three and four. But four and five have to be kept in part, but I could do that by doing that. If this was four... I don't think this could be four. If this is four, one of these is going to be five or three. Because, or this would be three and one of those would be five. This is not a four at least. This isn't a three because it's next to a two. 
I know there's a one in one of those. I know eight is in one of those. Maybe it's this arrow. If this is a six, this is a four. And this is a one. So this couldn't be one five. It could be two four. If this is a six, this would be a four. No, if this is a six, this couldn't be one five. No, this can't be a six anymore. Because if this is a six, this becomes a four. And I can't fill this because I don't have a one and I wouldn't have a four. There's no way to fill it. This is not a six. So this is an eight or a nine. Now, remember, I don't have ones available. Two, well, hang on. Two is on this. Two is absolutely on this by Sudoku. So this is either two six or two seven. There's no, there's no two on this. So this can't be a seven arrow because this would need to be one, two, four. If it's an eight arrow with no two, it's one, three, four. And I would know the order. These would be three, four, and this would be a one. If it's a nine arrow, it's one, three, five. Because I couldn't use one, two, six. I couldn't use one... Two, three, four. It's one, three, five. And they none of those are consecutive. So one, five, one, three, five. So, oh, this can't be a five. So all of that is possible, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. So... These are from three, four, five, six, seven. Or oh, hang on. Five is definitely on this arrow. So this can't be one, three, four. Five, five. Five is on here. And I can't put a two on here. The, right, 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 right. Forget all of that. Five is on here. Because I can't put five down here and I can't put five in here. Five is on here. So with five and one on here... If this was an eight, this, I'd need to put a two on here and I can't. This is one, three, five. And this is nine. This is eight, which means this is two, six, which means this is four and this is three. This is not the three. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, four and seven. This is so cool. Okay, so this is a quadruple. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, one, six, eight, nine. Well, there's no nine in either of those. I can't put eight next to nine. I can't put one next to two. I can't put six in any of those because of the six looking down. That is an eight. So there's no eight in either of these. This is a one or a nine. Oh, the five is looking over. That's the one. There's no one here. This is a three, five pair. There's no one here. This four looks up, taking four out of both of those. So four is in one of those two. Oh, there's no three here. This is fascinating. And I still don't think I fully understood what's going on. I think I'm finding stuff, but I'm not understanding it. So this is either 126 or 135. If it's 126, these are 12 and this is 6. And it can't be because of this. 6 must be in here. So this can't be 126. And it can't be two, three, four. This is one, three, five. There's no five here. Five is in one of those two. There's no three here. This is one, three, five. Actually, I'm going to keep that pencil mark. So what are these? I'm almost tempted to mark this whole thing. 
This is 135. Six is in. Well, three is in one of those two now, because I can't put three next to the two, and I can't put three in any of those. Six in this... No, that's not it. So it's something to do with this, because down here I determined this had to be at least... 2, 4. So this is at least, this is 6, 7, or 8. Now I'm not using a 1. Now this, yeah, this has to have a low digit on it. So it must have a 2 on it. Because if I don't, if I don't use, I can't use 1 and 3. If I don't put a 2 on it, it's got a 4. I can't use 4, 5. So it'd be 4, 6. Does it have to be 10? There is a 2 on this and the 2's not there. This is the 2. Now this is 2, 4, 2, 5, or 2, 6. And it's not 2, 5, so this is not a 7. This is a 6 or an 8. These are all even. I don't know if I should have been using parity for this. Too late now? Oh! Here, this is important. This is a three or a five. If that's a four, I can't put either digit in there. That's the seven, that's the four. Which actually didn't help. So thanks for that. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four as possible. Five, I must put a six on here. Because if this is four, this is six. If this is six, this is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven must be in here. Eight. So these are from four, seven, eight. This is not the seven. Oh, this is the seven, and this can't be an eight. Because that would be consecutive with the seven. So that's the four, which means that's the six, and that's the eight. That is stunningly cool. The four means that's the one. I take the one out of those. That's the five. That's the three, which means this is the four. This is the three, which takes the three out of there. That means this is the four, which means this can't be the five. That's the seven, and that's the five. Putting five in one of those. Yuck. Okay. Now, four can't be in any of those. Four is in one of those two by Sudoku and non consecutive well, just by Sudoku now. Now, if this is four, this is one, three. This, now the minimum, there still must be a low digit on that. But the minimum this could be now is four. So it could be four, because you can never do one, two, three, because they're consecutive. Can't do five, six. So it's four, seven, or nine, and it's not seven. So this is either four or nine. So this is either one, three, or it sums to nine. Okay, let's look. Oh, this nine looks down, making this the one, which makes this the six and this the nine. And now these columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can't put seven next to six. I now these are now one, two, three, four, five, two, one and eight, and I can't put eight next to seven. Oh, seven in this box is right there. So six is not in any of those or there. So six is in one of those three. Eight is not in either of those or those. Eight is in one of those two. Nine is not in any of those. Eight being in one of those two means eight is right there. Because I can't put eight. Where is eight in this column? It's not down here. It's not there. And it's not next to a seven. This is the eight. What is this triple? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two, three, and six. That can't be a six because it's next to a seven. That can't be a two because it's next to a one. 
Oh, it can't be a six. That's the three. So that's the two. That's the six. That's the two. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, five, and nine. I'm not putting the nine next to an eight, and I'm not putting the three next to a two. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight go into those. And the eight looks down, making that the six and that the eight. The eight prevents that from, sorry, the six prevents that from being a five. And these are one, two, three, four, five, one, four, and seven. The eight prevents that being a seven. The two prevents that being one. The six prevents that being a seven. That's a seven. And this is a one, four pair. The three, five means that can't be a four, because if that's a four, that can't be a three or a five. That's the one, that's the four. This is so cool. Two is in one of those two now by Sudoku. Three, four, five? Well, five, this is a two, five pair, because I, I can't put two in there by Sudoku, and I can't put five in there by non-consecutive. This is a two, five pair, which looks down, making that the three and that the five, and the three prevents that being the two. That's the five, that's the two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go into those. The six makes that the nine and that the six, which means that's not the six. This is actually a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, and eight. There's no eight next to a seven. There's no one in there. There's no three in there. That's just the eight. The one and the three because of the non-consecutive with the two. So this is not the eight. This is a one, three pair. The three here means this is the one. This is the three. This can't be the four anymore. That's the nine. That's the four. That's the six. These sum to nine. This can't be a five anymore because that would put it next to a six. So on here, I can't use one, eight. I can't use two, seven, and I can't use four, five. So this is three, six, and I can't put, well, the, the order is determined by Sudoku. So this is one, two, three, four, five, nine. Not yet. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, and eight. And I can resolve that by the eight. That's the two, that's the eight. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, four, and seven. There's no one there. There's no seven there because it had put it next to a six. The one and the seven here is resolved by Sudoku because of the seven in the column. These triples, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, five, nine. There is a three in the column already. There is... Can't put a nine next to an eight. Can't put a five next to a six. This is a three, five, nine triple. So this is just a one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a four, seven. So this is a four, this is a seven. Oh, the three looks down, making this the five, which makes this the nine, which makes this the three. The three looks up, making this the five, which makes this the nine, which makes this the three. The five makes this the nine, which makes this the five. And that is the correct solution to the puzzle. 25 minutes, 29 seconds. It took me a little bit to understand what was happening with these arrows. And I'm sure people who've solved a lot of puzzles, like, I mean, I've solved thousands of puzzles, but I'm sure people who have solved a lot of puzzles using non-consecutive arrows will be able to plow through this because they'll understand the ramifications of low digits on arrows that see each other a lot better than I did. But still, I'm pretty happy with 25 minutes on that one. That was a beautiful lunch break puzzle. What do I expect from full deck and missing a few cards? Really good puzzles. We've actually been creating a bit together recently. Keep your eye out for those. There's some on Logic Masters Germany already, and there's possibly some more coming. Really beautiful puzzle. Gappy Logic. Yeah, that was absolutely phenomenal. And quite a minimalist grid. I'm very happy with the puzzles I've gotten from Sudoku U. Very cool stuff. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I, I hope you've had as much fun with these puzzles from Signet Sudoku. I haven't looked at the book because I'm expecting more to come for me to solve for the channel. So, yay. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I've only had a look at the intro to the book. I, I was told everything in the introduction chapter they would not be submitting. Um, maybe the first couple. Um, but I only looked at the first chapter um, to uh, to uh, see what they were doing. with. The, I think there's some 4x4s and 6x6s in there. I did look. It was a while ago. Um, but, yeah have a look it's a really good book um at least what i've seen of it but um these are the puzzles from it and they're fun 
Thank you everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.